Today we are going to learn how to create an embroidered ornament for Christmas in the shape of a heart, just like this one. The best part about this project is that you can easily do it without having any embroidery or sewing experience. Last year I've created a collection of embroidered ornaments that were displayed in mini hoops like these ones, but this year I've decided to create something more complex to tickle your crafty side to the maximum level. I dedicated a couple of months to researching and planning this year's Christmas ornaments, so you won't have to spend too much of your valuable time looking for a craft project that would suit your needs. Finally, I chose this idea because I simply adore creating handmade gifts for my friends and family, and for some reason I'm convinced that I'm not the only one. And that's not all. This cute heart can be used not only as a Christmas ornament, but also as a pin cushion. Hi there, it's Stella from Why Not Stitches and I'm here to walk you through the entire process of creating this lovely ornament from scratch, even if you are completely new to this. And because you would need embroidery and sewing knowledge, I've divided this tutorial into three parts. The first one is about the supplies and how to prep before starting, the second one is about the embroidery process and the third one is about sewing and finishing it. You know, I'm not completely sure how to call this whole thing. Is this a tutorial or a stitch along? And I would appreciate your help. Just drop a comment below and write the word stitch along or tutorial and that will help me to create better content for you. What you need to know before we start is that you are watching part one of this Christmas ornament project. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the supplies you need and how to transfer the pattern onto fabric. What you see right now on the table are all the supplies you are going to need. First, you need a medium weight calico fabric, also known as muslin fabric. It's 100% cotton and it's quite cheap and easy to find. Make sure to pre-wash the fabric before using it, because we want to avoid shrinkage. With cotton, the shrinkage is about 5%. Especially if you are planning to transfer the pattern on the fabric using stick and stitch paper, which will require to wash your final embroidery. I usually wash and iron all my fabrics right after purchasing them. We are going to use big scissors to cut the fabric, a 6 inch embroidery hoop, embroidery needle size 7 and a cross stitch needle size 26, embroidery threads, I use DMC brand because I like the quality of it, then you need printed pattern which you can download from my Etsy shop, small scissors for embroidery, heat erasable pen, I use the pilot friction pen because I like it the most, a source of light which is going to be a window, sewing thread that is matching the color of your fabric, pin needles and a 3 mm cotton cord. Also, for stuffing the heart, we are going to use rice to give it a little bit more weight and polyester fiber, which I took from an old pillow, but you can buy a new one if you want to. All of this being said, it's time to prep our fabric and transfer the pattern on it. First, measure and cut a piece of fabric of 8.5 by 10 inches or 21 by 25 centimeters. The fabric is going to be of a rectangular shape because we are going to use a part of it for the back of the heart, the one that has no embroidery on it. We need to place our hoop close to one side of the fabric and have our pattern traced in a place that would allow us to use the rest of the fabric for the back of the heart, without wasting too much of it. To trace our pattern onto fabric, we need to use a source of light. 
most of the time I use a light tablet but this time I want to show you how to do the tracing using a sunny window. Stick the printed pattern on the window and then the fabric on top of it. Be careful to trace the pattern a bit closer to one of the short edges of the fabric. As I've shown you before, we'll need that piece of the fabric to cut out the back of the heart. When tracing the pattern, make sure to draw all the lines and if your hands get tired, take short breaks. This step is important because these are your guiding lines. The more precise you trace the pattern now, the less thinking you would need to do later in the process. Another method of tracing the pattern is using stick and stitch paper. If you want me to show how to use it, just let me know in the comments. After you've traced the pattern, it's time to dress the hoop. But before dressing the hoop, make sure you have enough space on the fabric for the back of the heart that I keep telling you about. When dressing the hoop, stretch the fabric tight as a drum, because a loose fabric will definitely distort your stitches and we don't really want that. Next step would be to pick up your threads and needles and get to the most exciting part of this project, at least in my opinion, the stitching part. I recommend you to work with cross stitch needle size 26 or embroidery needle size 7. My favorite one is the cross stitch needle because it has a larger eyelet and it's easier to thread it. But I'll share more about the embroidery process in my next video tutorial of this series. If you want to see it, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you can be notified when I publish it. Thank you for staying with me till the end of this video, I love when you do that. Happy stitching and see you soon!